was cracking there, buddy. So, <clears throat> here at work, uh, just watching stuff on YouTube, and um, decided to do a video for you guys today. And uh, so, <clears throat> I would never wish a life sentence on anyone. Um, I would never wish incarceration on anyone. Uh, but I can tell you that those of us that have done time and thankfully are back out in society, um, those of us especially that did a lot of time, uh, did level four time, 180 time, While sitting in prison was a waste of time, even for those that that took advantage of it and got a college education and uh, and all that stuff, it, it was a waste of time as far as how what we missed on out here. Okay, um, but if I'm being completely honest, those of us that have done that type of time, we have an an advantage, an advantage over uh, a lot of, I think, over the majority of people that have lived their lives out here. And what I mean by that is, I remember when this coronavirus thing first started, and I told my wife, I said, "Babe, you know, give it a little bit of time," and. Um, Watch how many people go crazy over this, like righteously nuts. And, um, you know, you see on the news, there's been the, that, that dude in, I believe it was Texas, stabbed up that Chinese family, that Asian family. Okay. Um, there was a guy that killed his old lady because he thought she gave him coronavirus. Um, I don't know what the stats are right now on suicide. I don't know what the stats are on um, nervous breakdowns and people having psychotic episodes. But I, I would be willing to bet that it's it's a lot higher than normal. You know, in prison, <clears throat> even even in there, man. You know, you'd see after long lockdowns certain cats start to lose it and uh, you see in the shoe see people start to lose their mind getting being inside of here man some people can't be in their own heads you know and when you when when you force them to be in their own heads and then you add some external stress on them uh, it's, it's a weird thing to see um, but what, what's concerning to me, man, is, and again, this goes back to, to prison, because, you know, I've said this before in other videos, because I've done the majority of my life in and out of jail, every kind of interaction that I have, every, I mean, everything, man, it, I, I, my mind goes back to prison, you know, how you, how you adjust to everything, no matter what it is. And the tools that you pick up and the skills that you develop um, can be applied no matter where you are, right? So when I see, so this virus struck, right? And then what was what has been worse than the virus is people's reactions to it. Um, not just. People going to the store and buying toilet paper when this this virus does not make you shit, does not make your nose run like that. It, it, it was weird, you know. And then being being almost 50 years old, um, I'm fine with drinking tap water. Like I, people running to go buy bottled water, that's just it, it doesn't make just didn't make sense, right? And then we have the conspiracies, right? Of um, 
5G towers are gonna, you know, do whatever. I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't get myself wrapped up in those kind of things, right? But I, I, I understand that for those that are not mentally capable of handling that stuff, it's detrimental to them. It's detrimental to their health and to their sanity. And so I would just wonder, because like in prison, you don't spread rumors. Not at all. Um, that that type of shit gets you, uh, you know, that, they find out who started this rumor. He ain't spreading no more rumors, no more, right? And, but out here, it's like, people don't have that, that thing where they know, if I jump on my keyboard today, and I type something that I know is completely false just to fuck with somebody's head somebody's gonna retweet that somebody's gonna send that off to somebody else they trip on this the source doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it's some fucking nut making something up it's can I get it to go to enough people to where the source will never even be looked at you know what I mean like I don't know man I just I'm really tripping out on how, like, I mean, I'm not worried about getting it. Do I want to get it? No. Uh, I wore that fucking, those of you that saw my post today when I had the bunny over my face, I did that because my wife said supposedly they're putting fines out if you don't. I don't know. I don't see other people doing it, but I do it for my wife's peace of mind, you know. Um, I had one of my camaradas ask me about that shit and, and, and I told him man oh, the life we live that's what fucking gets me fuck eh? I mean shit I live the wild fucking life as it is but I refuse to um, waste any energy on anyone else's conspiracies um, on on the what ifs you know what I mean like I, sh I wash my hands I wear clean clothes, you know, now I wear this fucking banyo over my face, but, you know, I, and like I said in my post, being, you know, masking up and being clean and all that is being responsible to yourself and your loved ones, but by also, by doing that, it's also being responsible towards other people's families, you know, um, but, you know, all these, all these conspiracies and shit, man. It's, it's like gossip. It's just gossip. And it's just, it's affecting those who mentally cannot deal with it. And I think that's fucking, it's, it's, it, all, the, all that type of shit is more damaging than helpful. I don't see how it's helpful at all, you know. Uh, and I know it's not going to be done. I'm sure there's a bunch of conspiracies that I haven't even um, looked at and haven't seen on YouTube yet because I don't watch TV. I have been watching because I have an idea of something I might want to do a video um, with this election coming up. Not sure if I will. Uh, not sure if I'm capable of even editing something like that the way I would like to. But, uh, excuse me. I just want, uh, I just wanted to put that out there, man, that you know you hear something man you don't know the source you don't know uh, the motivations behind whatever that 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 uh, sound bite or that text or that email what the what the intentions behind it really are don't repeat it don't forward it just uh, it ain't your business you know what I mean? It ain't your business to make it somebody else's business. Let's not scare people, man. Seems like people are fucking freaked out as it is. And we don't need to add to it, man. We don't need... Like, what's happening right now? I don't know if people understand economically what it is doing to us, to our future. And not only our future, but to our kids' future. You know? Economically. Fuck that virus. That virus is going to leave and we're going to deal with another one next year or in two years. You know? And let this be basically our, our dry run, man. Getting ready for whatever the fuck's coming. But, uh, 
understand that we're all built to survive this shit, man. Like, some are gonna die, some are gonna live, but that's that's nature, man. That's just the way nature is. So with that, I'm out.